What's up, guys? I'm back with another forgotten script. Halloween Resurrection was far from being a good sequel. To most fans, it felt rushed and was a lackluster entry in the series. To top it off, the movie ended on a cliffhanger that will never be answered. Until now. In this video, we're checking out Halloween 9, also known as Halloween H25, the sequel to Halloween Resurrection that never happened. So This one takes off right where Resurrection ended, with Michael in the morgue after the fire at the Myers house. Michael wakes up and kills the morgue attendants. Then, some cops show up and shoot him. All of a sudden, someone off screen yells cut, and come to find out, it's a movie within a movie. Yep, that's right. They're filming a documentary about what happened after the events of Resurrection. It's a real crazy Inception kind of thing. And guess who the director is? Yep, Freddy. Buster Rhymes is back. He plans on filming this documentary and giving all the proceeds to the families of Michael's victims over the years. And there would have been cameos in this from Sheriff Brackett, Sheriff Meeker, Tommy Doyle, Sarah from the last movie, and a few others. So following what happened in the morgue, Michael was taken to an underground FBI facility to be experimented on so that they can try to understand why he is the way he is just a little bit better. But what they were actually doing is trying to find a way to weaponize him. All of a sudden, a female agent shows up and tells Freddy that Michael Myers is actually dead and that she's carrying around his ashes. So that's weird. Then the agent and some others run tests on Michael, who's locked up and is wearing a shock collar. They show him some pictures of his victims and do some other things to see if it changes him in any way. But it doesn't. Out of nowhere, the agent pulls out a music box and opens it. Of all things, a music box. And guess what song it plays? If you guess the Halloween theme, then you're right. What kind of Inception type shit is this? And of course, naturally, it's the only thing that Michael responds to. So after that, Michael gets the shot collar off and escapes. He heads to Smith's Grove where he finds a guest list of people attending a screening of Freddy's documentary. It's pretty much everyone who survived Michael in a previous movie. Later on at the screening, Michael shows up and kills a guy behind the scenes who's dressed up like Michael. This is the point in the movie where he gets his classic mask and jumpsuit. From there, Michael follows Tommy Doyle into a bathroom where he finally kills him. Also, Jimmy Lloyd, the paramedic from Halloween 2, is in there, and they finally reveal that he is in fact Jimmy Lloyd's father. But us diehard fans already knew that. After a while, Freddy's up on stage when Michael rips through the screen and attacks him. A huge fight breaks out, and just as Michael is about to kill Freddy, the female agent arrives holding the music box. Oh no, that's like Michael's kryptonite. As he gets distracted, Freddy stabs Michael and kills him. The end. So there you have it. Halloween 9, or Halloween H25, Halloween 25. I think they only called it that because it was like the 25th anniversary, kind of like how H2O was the 20th. But yeah, whatever you want to call it, was it good? No. And that's okay. Instead of this, we got the Rob Zombie remake, which wasn't much better. But anyway, that was just another sequel that never got made. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.